Uh, it's of joy again for ya. Baller than the dread, the dread. <laughs> nah, seriously, we're back here again. Giving thanks for the ability to give thanks. Give thanks for everybody been supporting the thing from those times to now. If you get free time, make sure you check out new tune from the one R. Tarchy there, a thing called Black Liberation Cry. Also, make sure you support us at www.consciousty.com, right? Today, there's a, a, a sweet reason and still, especially for me as a person that loved the music and, and the fact we're able to share the music with the people. Today, we are sharing with you 10 classic reggae albums that everyone should know. All right. And we, we tried our best to stay away from those that are usually in the top 100, top 10 categories, top 50 categories. Yeah. <laughs> and, but these albums, they're not no normal albums. Fire, I'm gonna let you kickstart the thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> and this this interesting you know, because this this, this kind of controversial, but not good way still. Because most people hear about, hear about classic album and then they start thinking about albums with automatically they get extremely popular, not realizing that through the music vast, you have some albums with us great, but you can't, you can't, enough people don't even know about them. Like for me, like Time Unlimited, Devil's Angel. I you know one of the things thing that really make Time Unlimited. Time Unlimited was a group from in you know, the 80s. After Junior Delgado leave Time Unlimited as the lead singer, then my father Donovan Joseph replaced replace him as the lead singer. And then, but the thing with tough with, with, with the album, you know, is that it kind of it, it's strange. If you check the musician them who play up on the album, it's not a normal musician. So I feel like Jamaica need for need to know this because the man I will combine together for to make the album, yeah. It crazy. It's like a tough gang they distribute it to and um I think them record it at Aquarius Studio. You have Pam Bass, you have Chris Meredith Pam Bass. Chris Meredith are the bass player for most people who know where play with Stephen Marley. Stephen Marley, yeah, yeah. And then you have Squidly Cole on the drums. You see me I say? And then you have man like Al Frazal Prendigas who did on the guitar too. And you have Tony Asha on the keyboard. You have percussion, you have um RT. Yeah. I tell you, and Dean Fraser, the for hands. I tell him, say, a lot of people need for no time and limited Devil's Angel. You have songs like Live Up Right, Devil's Angel, Pave the Way, No Far Right. I tell you, African woman, like a whole heap of different tracks, same way. De- um, this album is an album I feel like anybody listen to it and use a true love of roots, you have to love it. Time and limited Devil's Angel. I tell you, I them, they, this is not a normal album. And it's so funny that Tough Gang distributes so much different tune, but no people never really know about this. I think, I think, within a Jamaica, certain way, I feel like in a Europe, certain certain places you go, a lot of people have um, copies of it. But the reason why they have copies, copies of it, because that was where they really marketed it to at the time. And then they do a limited amount of press. Because I think around, probably around a thousand um, records that are alone did press in yeah, so probably some people never even get it. So they choose a limited amount of it. A time unlimited Devil's Angel album is a nice album. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm a, the one I'm gonna start with is 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 not a reggae album, so it's a rock city album from the great Delroy Wilson Fire thing called Good All Over. It recorded there for Cox and Dodd Studio One. And the all right, so <laughs> If I, you know, I, 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 I kill around a, a lot of old heads, or I used to kill around a lot of old heads and elders, as you would say. And um, the thing with this album here, Fi, is that, first of all, there are about four tunes on there whose rhythms have been used from the 60s straight till today, right? Um, He had a tune on there, Rain From The Sky, obviously. He had the tune there, um... A movie star. I don't know if he called it movie star. What do you call it back then? Um, I don't know why. Earl Dunkley. Then um Wayne Wayne won that had a big hit with that. I'm not a king. Coca T had that with Rip and Run with Cuddy Ranks and all those tunes there. And the Bridgen is just one of the most influential singers in Jamaican history because you see how like D Brown influenced everybody from his time moving forward. Delroy Wilson would be that type of energy. So any if you if you hear D Brown talk, if you hear Barris talking all of them, even some of the ones that really know the music, they're definitely gonna mention the great Delroy Wilson. He was the first like, what do you want to say, uh, not teenage star. What do you call them? Child stars or something? Yeah, yeah. That type of energy. Yeah, yeah. I think he he signed with Cox and Down when he was thirteen years old. But um, 
to me, rock steady is the sweetest era of reggae music, right? And this here is just the essence of rock steady, yo. So um, if you're not familiar with it, I highly recommend to check out, check out Delroy Wilson, Good All Over. But you know, you know the funniest thing about Good All Over, though, most people probably hear the songs them from Good All Over from the other artists and things. So when they hear Delroy Wilson, Delroy Wilson song, they don't know the original. Because oh, reality made, you know. <laughs> so much man do over about Delroy Wilson, just the one album there. I feel like some of the most covers in the thing do are for the good all over too. So no one can't deny that. Yeah, tell her. So, all right. My next album now, I'm going to mention now off of the list. Now, <laughs> Lux Lekia Still, Man in Glory. I feel like Lux Lekia Still is a singer where most people, when I talk to them, them, them don't even know Lux Lekia Still. They might know you, Mundell, through the, the, the closeness of the sound. And show the, the man them used to link, but most people don't really know Lux Lucky are still one of the tough sing, toughest singers from the 80s, like Silky Vice and plus Lux Lucky are still the young. I think around 20, 20 them time there. And the man are really make some nice tune like uh, Mr. Government Man and and um you have a same man in glory, you have Cold Winter Nights. Yo, they, I feel like the album is just a classic album if you really want a groovy, groovy young son. You can listen to this. Speak, especially the song called um, Speak Softly. Speak softly, woman, so no one hears you about the cloud. It does bring in a little groovy state. I feel like enough people just need to know about Lux Lucky still because you have certain singers in Jamaica history. If people, if we really study them, especially the young youth, them, them know how to get some groovy pattern from a young age and them not have to wait till them like 100% mature if they have the sound. So, this is not an album where it even cross over to become the major hit. I feel like it does have a small buzz, but then it's a classic, classic album where no song on it not half key. None are not half face. None. Man in glory, like click your still. All right, next one I'm going to go. <laughs> it's funny though. Next one I'm going to go with here. This normal, not no normal album. Brethren, I, Jaman Levi, right? He have an album called Hail Him. Hail Him. Hail I Him. Right, but the thing is, most people know him from We Are a Warrior, the album Kick to Tell You the Truth. So, if you are listening, make sure you check out check out We Are a Warrior. But they have an album release, I believe it's I wrote it down, uh, 1978. Hell I am. Um, and he's also, I just want to throw that in there, he's also one of the students of Joe Hicks. So, respect to the great Joe Hicks for all the work that he did and all the people that he groomed to really understand that melody. But the reason this album here, first of all, it's only four songs on the album, right. I didn't even look into what musicians worked on it, but it some top musician could have sound different. <clears throat> Four songs on the album, but with this album right now, obviously it's not a commercial album, but you can feel that, what's the word I would look for? That purity in the tunes. Could it come like, the man just really just giving praises, tell you the truth and giving thanks for the strength to go through the journey. You know, so anyone near with a little vibes in life, I highly recommend that you listen to it. But also from a musical standpoint, definitely want to check it out. I Jamal Levi, Hail I Him. Yeah, I Jamal Levi is a is, is, is a young have enough people overlook to see me. But you have really not music still if you know them on this one. And then all right. So you have a next album now. What I really, 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 really love where I'm Dennis Brown, Visions of Dennis Brown. It sang like a like Concrete Castle King, Malcolm X, and you know, Deliverance will come. Oh, mother, repatriation. I feel like, all right. Oh, mother Dennis... kick, by the way, and crank, uh, Concrete Castle kick. Malcolm X kick, whole album kick. <laughs> the whole of album. album. Thing, you know? I think it recorded um, a Joe Gibbs, it's a Joe Gibbs produced album that you know, um 1978. Yeah, it's a 78 album. Them time the D Brown have come, have come up the ranks. See, because if you check D Brown in the late 70s, you know, one of the best D Brown you find too, you know, the revolutionary D Brown in a sound too. Very sweet. The, yeah. So I feel like the vision, like per, a pe- person might say, wait, but Dennis Brown, the Dennis Brown album, then it, it's not in a top 10. But no, but visions of Dennis Brown is not one of the albums them were in the top 10 because many people are looked to the more popular songs them from Dennis Brown and the more probably some of them probably even some more groovy songs, some some lovers rock song too and and 
not even lovers rock. Some, you know, some smooth tune from D Brown, but you see them song yeah? Them song a give a revolutionary persona, Dennis Brown. Like when I hear Dennis Brown sing them song, you know, it's a different thing. I think probably one of the most um commercial song on it would be like Milk and Honey. Milk and Honey would be the most commercial song. Oh, sure, if, me sure. I, if me, I think about it. And then and then I have all the one where say Jack can do it. Chant down the walls of Babylon. I tell you, it's not a normal thing for you. Dennis Brown Visions. Anybody listen to that and want a meditation, I feel like it's a good, 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 good album that for listen. All right, next <laughs> next one. It's a good one still. Next one right here is, is uh, Earth and Stone Kuru's Channel One Fire. Because, all right, Rocksteady is the greatest time period in Jamaican music, in my opinion, right? But in regards to sound and studio, we got to go with Channel One, yeah. The, the Tough Gang different because it's just Bob Marley thing, so from a studio base. But Channel One Fire, a different type of sound. This album here should be in the top 10 albums. I don't know why people are disregarding it. I don't know if they don't know about it. I don't know what's going on, Fire. But this one here is 10 out of 10 songs. There is no song you have to pass, you know. I had to write down the songs to remember, but yeah, Foss Ruler, Free Black Man, Jailhouse Set Me Free, right? That's the way I feel about you. Yeah, I want next one. Don't do as I said, anyone listen, anyone listening right now, and I believe it's on iTunes too, so it's downloadable. Cause that's the next thing with some of these albums. Some of them have not been um available digitally. But the cool thing about YouTube is it's there on YouTube if you want to hold a vibe and listen to it. The album is from a group called Earth and stone and the name of the album is called cool roots and it captures the essence of the channel one sound so turn up the speakers and listen to that one and hold a steady medi I, you know you know what the reason why most people might overlook earth and stone i feel like plus the time with them coming out to one and with them telling channel one channel one of the mighty diamonds and too much, too much artists at the time yeah too much yeah. article john holt there then it's it's, it's it's just i think they just got lost in the name game not in the quality of music or the sound but it just got lost in the name game and and then two it don't really have that commercial hit from the album you get what i'm saying like yeah, that doing that that type of vibe but in regards to reggae music any person that enjoys roots rock reggae music then i love it you'll love it you After. can't go wrong with that you know and 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 the cool thing now is the one that's been reissued they have a dub for every song. So it's about 20 tracks they have on there. So, and the dub, it's not no just dub like instrumental, it's dub. They like dub it out and mix it properly, you know? Yeah, them roots. So, yeah, so, well, all right, yeah. So, our next, our next song from my list now is um, Culture One Stone. Like, I feel like most people think about culture and them just start thinking about the 70s, the 80s. But then they realize it. All right, here I, here I me love One Stone now. Culture show you. Yeah, Joseph Hill and, and, and the whole culture show you say the man them still have it in the 90s. Still have it in the 90s. Cause who would have known about 1996 the man them would have come come and still against them album there. We have the whole true sound, true one stone, and they have blood like a run and the whole of them tune there. It, it, it still keep the revolutionary vibes. And it still gives a spiritual vibe with all tune like all tribal war down in Addis Ababa, down in Babylon, Mr. Slogan. Like the man that gives you all the teachings and it still like, gives you the original culture vibes, yet still in the 90s. Rasta man I come and all of them tune there. So I feel like that's one of the reasons why I feel like people need to know about that for sure. It, it, the album I really show you say, a, a band or, or, or a chant I can really still keep the whole foundation because most youth most youth now them do start off with foundation and them just lose the foundation that they make like because them things that them can't keep an audience them have to entertain them to the best without being themselves but culture really show you in the 90s fire remember culture this one of the original group them in a reggae you know? and the man them come back in the 90s and still like hear some songs where, 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 where jai full same way so that's one of the reasons why i made it have to put that in a, in a the same way you know one stone culture. All right, next one now is a bridge in here. Some people probably gonna be shocked by this, but Taurus Riley Parables tell you the truth. Yeah. I feel it's one of the greatest albums ever made. I'll tell you album. why. I'll tell you why. Taurus Riley is like in the middle of 
the firebrand artist. So he come after Sizzler, Luciano, Anthony B, John Mason, all them Norris men and Ron Shiloh, John, uh, everybody, that crew, Turbulence. But then he come before uh, Chronix and, and this crew here. <clears throat> and that album there, they have 15 tracks on that album, Fire. And every tune you can listen to. And still to this day, I believe we probably performing about seven to eight tracks from that album. Cause remember, She's Royals on there. A couple you did for um, John Legend, Stay With You. You have a beautiful song called Pick Up The Pieces. You have one tune called, um, what's it called? Something Strong on the Barris thing. Do, 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 do. I think it's something strong. And then you have uh, the next, you have Lion Paw. You have Africa Awaits. You have the anthem near Be Weir. You have Willie Lynch. The man have a next one called um, something about some internet thing with Joseph Hill. If I have a beautiful song with Dwayne Stevenson. You have a next tune near about the baby. Um, Can't Sleep. So that, um, that, 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 that be a hit song that there, cause so I, when I, listen, like I, said, I, said, <laughs> I said fire, the album is 15 out of 15. Yes, people. You know, burn a fire on tourist rally for whatever you're doing now. I, I, I can't say nothing about that. But in regards to this work that this man put together, fire. Forget reggae. It come like one of the greatest albums of all time, you know, Because any person across genre will hold a steady midi to this one. And and salute to him for that. We give thanks for him for that. Because this one here, Lion Paw Fire, Be Weird. She's Roy, all on the same album. It come like some greatest hits compilation album or something. If you really, if you really meant it, you know. So definitely, if you're unaware, um, some of you know Tor, Torres Riley for his more recent music. Scratch that, go back and get in the <laughs> get in the parables, and full joy that one. Yeah, parables. I was that early two thousands. Got the album, the leak for you, you know. But so oh, like, but what, to me, hold on, sorry, hold on. It's two more tunes. One, two, order. A big tune. And haunt you. Fifteen out of fifteen. Every every tune on that album get you, and that's rare for I with the whole album on a level. But it does sound strange to me though, for you. The tune them way you call it sound like it tune to me though. All of them are it tune to me. See, like like I feel like all of them are just two me is a roots me is a roots man. Cause it's all like hit tunes. Song. Check it right now. Anywhere you play, you can play play beware. What matter what popularity it do? No, no, because like Haunt You, even though it's a big tune, people don't really know it like that because I think the tunes, all right, the tunes that he have in his set, that's why people know. Because you remember for years, he always did Lion Paw. I don't, I don't know if he still do it, but he did Lion Paw. He definitely do She's Royal. He'll def- I don't know if he does Stay With You No More. He definitely does Be Weird. But the rest of them, I don't think in the set anymore. Yeah, because they have whole heap of tunes too. Yeah, have tunes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doris Riley, Riley had a catalog still, but this one here. And also, he has an album, Challenges, he did prior with all Barbara Chair and Larger Than Life. Beautiful album, too. You definitely want to check it out, produced by Dean Frazier. Yes, sir. And since that, since that going to the 2000, I have to touch the 2000, took out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to put Norris Man for assistance. I know, man man. I know where this man going to go with this <laughs> Norris Man for assistance. <laughs> Any right. conversation we have about music, anything, this man is gonna bring up Norris Man persistence. Yeah, man, fire, man, I tell you, is it is that me just feel like Norris Man is a chant where people just overlook fire. I don't know, I don't know why, or I don't know if 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 I appeal or what fire, but people just overlook Norris Man and the man of some hits and the one album keep on come over and over and I love love bad road persistence bright days woman of patience let the lead the way like fire, I, tell I, fire. Wanna, I don't want to cut you but bad road a different type of tune yeah how you write the rhythm and do reward on that album too yeah the greatest reward yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. fire ever I think I ever live in soul something too Ever living soul upon it too, if I'm not nah, nah, mistaken. Fire them tune, there are some different type of tune. And you see, when Naris Man and Dust come out with the real chanting fire, them time they're the firebrand artists, them out them time they you know. Heavy. Heavy, <laughs> heavy, you know. Heavy. <laughs> yeah, and one of them tune that it showed to me still, but I just feel like enough people you no know, meditate them album. You have to be a, a man who really de- deep into roots and you know the album, because everybody my ask. Them they really know after the album, they might know of persistence. True persistence was really the hit song after the album. But them they know about some of the rest of the tune them fire. And them feel like them tune, yeah, 
at uh, some tune with them need for need for no, you know. And and anyone listening, they probably remember those times with mixed CDs that had like 90 songs on them. That's the time them type of root CDs, you know, Norris mm-hmm. Man, Sizzler, Capleton, the whole crew, Anthony B, Turbulence, John Mason, Luciano in the mix. All the artists from those times, yo. So yeah, I think that album come out 2000, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember that. <clears throat> I remember the cover still, you know, because man had to save up to get an album. That CD was like fifteen, twenty dollars those times. So man had to save up to get the album. I remember, you know, I was trying to get the thing together to get the the CD, you know. So so. so. All right, the last one for me I'm gonna share right now is um, "Midnight Beauty for Ashes," right? Released two thousand fourteen. I want to say salute to the whole I Agree family for working on this masterpiece because. Since this album has been released, there is not a week that has gone by that I have not listened to this album. And I'm telling you the truth. <clears throat> and I want to say that, let's be truthful. Um, a lot of people struggle with listening to Midnight due to the, the production sometimes and the lyrics. You know, it kind of, it's not really that dancey vibe. But this one here, in regards to production, the musical aspect, and the, the wording, if I just really put this man in a different category, to tell you the truth. And, um, you know, he touches on different top topics. Got mysticism in there, spirituality, social commentary, that whole vibration. They have some good features too. They have Luton Fire on the tune there, Pressure, I think a Brazilian car, Ross Batch or something. But that album there has, I'm not sure how much songs are on the album, but all of but them. The album, they have 12. They have 12, 12? Tune, man. Yeah. All right, all of them, 12 out of 12. I, uh, and anyone listening right now, if you get time today, listen to a tune called, I'm going to tell you the tunes to listen to. This is the tune called Reminder Fire, right? Better Mint Mouth. Most people have no same boat week because they have a video. Um, listen to a tune called The Healing Beauty for Ashes on a tune hold a steady medi. Believe you me. Oh, steady medi. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, I. All right, cool. Hold a steady medi to that tune. That tune there is another album, which is one of the greatest. Uh, this, this, this go beyond this, this, this topic we dealing with, with classic albums. You need to know this is one of the greatest reggae albums of all time. But true, you know, true. He not midnight wasn't a um a mainstream thing, you know, for whatever reason. People, people never gave it the acknowledgement that it needed. But this one is a musical masterpiece. And if anyone, if you love music, period should def- definitely take it in you know and yeah, and yeah i thought both well, see my one see my one i thought i wanted the pressure so the tune, tune there the tune there the tune there the tune is a meditation tune with a different vibe because you know pressure 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 is a man with you're one of the balanced artists them in our in our music you know him can dj and him can sing and him never him never half key him have the lion voice and him and, and then him have the silky tone again for those match it so you see the see my one that come with midnight listen to them they're chewing the lick. That's the so hold on. We did 10. Yeah, run out fast. Ah, though. Just like that. Then all right, then. So we give thanks for everyone listening. I'm gonna put the 10 uh albums in the description. And we 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 highly recommend that you um listen to them and take them in because it's very important to uh be a student of the music, especially people who DJ who are selector or whatever if you have a radio thing. It's very, very important that you learn the music from those times. So now I, I know that some people get especially when they start, they get caught up in certain time periods of the music and they're not aware of um sounds from different decades. And also we need to get off this top ten, right? Get off the top yeah, ten. Get off exactly. the music that's kinda you know, in that little, that the system has provided to you. There are a lot of great albums out there. There are great albums out there being made now. Give the artist a chance. Listen to the music. Give thanks for everyone listening from those times till now. Um, and we just give thanks for the support same way, you know? Well, let me hear you say mountain, mountain.